Hi. Over the years, thousands of drummers have asked me how I develop my skill set. In this video series, we'll be looking at ways to help you become a better drummer and land those big gigs. Hi. In this episode, I'm going to be discussing some of the concepts that I developed in my book entitled Exercises in African American Funk. So I wrote this book along with my, uh, my drum teacher, Steve Rucker. Uh, years ago, I attended the University of Miami School of Music, and uh, Steve Rucker was kind enough to co-author this book with me. And this book deals specifically with two rhythms from Cameroon, West Africa. One is called Mangambe, and the other is called Bakutsi. And both these rhythms are based on a polyrhythm, which is the three against four polyrhythm. That polyrhythm sounds like this. One, two, three, four. So just to explain a little bit about the polyrhythm, I'm playing 4-4 four, four on my bass drum, and I'm playing what I describe in the book as the long three against the 4-4 four, four pattern, which is actually in three if you looked at it by itself. So again, one, two, three, four. Okay, part of the genius of this rhythm is that they both exist in this, in, at the same time. So when you think of 4-4, four, four, you can also think of 3-4. You can subdivide that into 6-8, or you can think in longer terms, in terms of phrases, and think of that in 12-8, where you have 12 eighth note triplets within a bar of 4-4, four, four, right? So with that in mind, that takes us into chapter two of, uh, I'm sorry, chapter three of the book, which deals with the shuffle. Now, the book really focuses on the triplet subdivision. So the shuffle is, is a traditional kind of blues rhythm. It's also found in jazz. It sounds like this. So that's the shuffle. What this book will help you do is here that three against four rhythm, which could be described as six against four also, if you put six eighth notes against the four, which sounds like this. One, two. Here, I'm actually playing six notes against the four notes that I'm playing on the bass, on the bass drum. But it feels like three against four because I'm actually splashing the hi-hat on every other beat. So when you think about that, it's really a waltz, isn't it? Just kind of like. <laughs> anyway, um, another thing that I discussed in the book is the halftime shuffle funk groove. Uh, and I go into the halftime shuffle funk groove because it will lead us into the mangambe rhythm. And what I try to do in, in, in the book is associate Western drumming concepts so that they can be introduced into the West African drumming concept, which is just based on West Africa, as opposed to the Afro-Cuban tradition, which is found in South Florida, which is where I'm from. Okay, so a halftime shuffle funk groove. A 
If I take that same groove and I apply, apply a portion of the mangambe rhythm on the hi-hat. So what is the mangambe rhythm? The mangambe rhythm is, in fact, the shuffle displaced forward by an eighth note. And then the second eighth note is accented. So what I'll do now is I'll play a bit of the halftime shuffle groove with the shuffle pattern on the hi-hat, and then I'm going to play the mangambe pattern on the hi-hat. One, two... Okay, so the next thing I wanted to discuss with you was the Bakutsi pattern. So what is the Bakutsi pattern? Again, it's the three against four, but we're going to take that three and really accentuate what I, what I describe as the long three played against the four four. Keep in mind, in Africa, the way the rhythms that, uh, the, the, the authentic nature of the rhythm and the way that it's played is really different from the way we play rhythms in the West. Lots of times in the West, we play the backbeat on the snare drum on two and four. But in Africa, lots of times that backbeat is actually on the first bar of the, of the, of the beat. So I'll play a bit of the Bakutsi pattern now. Okay, so actually what I did there is I started off with a bit of the Bakutsi kind of by itself, and then I went into a, kind of like a waltz feel, uh, feeling against the, actually more of the three side against the four. And then I started splashing the long three on the hi-hat, and I changed the right symbol to the mangambe pattern, and which is what I call kind of like the hybrid groove between the Mangambi and the Bakuti. So all of these things are, are in, found in my book. Again, Exercises in African-American Funk. Check it out. And uh, I hope you've enjoyed the series. If you have any questions, please leave a comment below. You can visit me on my Instagram, which is Jonathan underscore Joseph underscore drums underscore. You can find me there, or you can visit me at my website, which is jonathanjosephdrums.com. If you're interested in my book, Exercises in African American Funk, you can find that on Amazon.com. Just type in my name and the name of the book. That's it for now. Peace.